Hey, what's up folks at home? Arduino is a simple and affordable microcontroller great for beginners, as most of you know. With many people relying on delay statements, the Arduino may seem limited, but we're gonna teach you how to get rid of that delay and multitask your Arduino. It's, it, just, it looks just like a light, but it's so much more. So we're gonna need a few things to get this going. We're gonna need an Arduino Uno, an LED, or Texas Instruments LM2758 LED evaluation board. This guy here that is currently blinding me because they did a really good job making it extremely bright. When first beginning, delay statements are a great easy way to adjust timing within your program. Like everybody's first one, Blink. Blink turns an LED on, then waits a second, turns the LED off, then waits a second, and then repeats the loop over and over again. The problem with this is that the delay pauses the program for a specified time, meaning nothing else can be done in that time like monitor a button. Today, we'll blink without delay using millis. Giving us the ability to perform, perform? <laughs> giving us the ability to perform multiple tasks at once. Thanks to Texas Instruments, we have this nifty little LED development board bright enough for you guys to see from over there. If you don't have one of these, you can use this circuit diagram or the Uno's built-in LED on pin 13. No extra hardware necessary. First, declare your pins and variables as usual. We're using pin 13 as our LED pin. Assign the LED state integer as low or off. This is just its initial state. Then declare a variable previous millis of type unsigned long. Unsigned long are variables of 32 bits. They're used for variables who values, who value, there, there's a lot of E's. Uh, uh, uh. They're used for variables whose values can become very large. I can't, all right, cut. Previous millis will be used to store the last time the LED was updated. Const long is also 32 bits, but will never change because of the const or constant keyword. Setting this to 1000 will set our delay time as 1000 milliseconds or one second. But remember, it's not actually delay, it's the amount of time we're counting. And then set your output pin as usual. Now time for the loop. Our goal is che to check and see if our goal is to check to see if the allotted time has passed, and if so, change the state of the LED, either from off to on or vice versa, whichever the state may be. Setting the unsigned long current millis equal to millis places the current time count in current millis. There's a fly. I got it. This will help us determine if the difference between current time and previous time has passed 1000 milliseconds. To do so, we say, if current time minus the previous time the LED blinked is greater than or equal to our assigned interval of 1000 milliseconds, store the time of the most recent blink in previous millis. Then, if the LED state is low, make its current state high, otherwise, make it low and then drive the LED pin high or low depending on the previous state. Repeat over and over. Now that we got rid of that delay, we can get two LEDs to blink completely independently of each other at two completely separate rates by repeating the same process with a few different named variables. And a big thanks to Bill Earl from Adafruit Industries who already has this stuff contributed on the, who already has this stuff available on their website for free use to look for you guys to look at and stuff. Look at them blink! Dun, 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 dun. And I don't have any buttons handy, but when I short pin two to ground as if it were a button press, oh, the blinkings change. And we're back to normal. Now I know this may have moved a little fast for some of you guys, but remember I always write a project article along with all my videos found on All About Circuits for you guys to check out and break down further. Oh wait, have I really had this blinking light on my head this whole time? I wonder if that's blinking without delay. <laughs>